How y'all doing? It's Fat Guy Flies RC here. I'm going to be doing a tutorial in the use and the reason of why you want to balance a prop. Now, I just had that new uh, FMS Nan Chang um, CJ6 version 2 purchase an extra prop with it and the prop that came with it was out of balance of course as I normally do I bought an additional uh, prop smart thing to do when you buy a plane go ahead and buy an extra prop with it now I balance that prop perfectly sounds a lot better the reason you want to balance a prop and people say well why you want to balance a prop well if a prop is out of balance okay Number one, you're going to get undue vibration. And that undue vibration over time translates into wear and tear on your motor, your shaft of your motor, um, your motor mounts. Um, if you don't believe me, go to my video, which I'll include a link of it, with the uh, death of my uh, Night Brave. Had a motor vi a prop that was out of balance, a vibration that I ignored. And it may cause the motor over time in one flight whenever I gave it the gas that vibration was just enough to shear off the motor mount and spiral the plane into a death spiral that was the end of that plane because I didn't take the time to balance my prop and pay attention to that unusual sound okay that vibration sound the other uh, reason is the sound you don't want the vibration, that's the most important thing, but, but you, whenever you have an unbalanced prop, you'll hear it. You'll hear a very strange whine, okay? So whenever you get a new plane, even the quality planes that you get from E Flight and Arrows and FMS, I mean, check the prop. Take the time, take the prop off and balance it. Now, now how you do, you say, well, that's great and uh, nice thing to do. Now you can kind of, halfway do it at the field you can see that it's kind of as you as you look at its profile as it spins you can kind of see a little vibe a little bit of variance as it, as, the, as it goes by and maybe put yourself a little piece of scotch tape or something on there that's great for the field and that might be just enough to take that out but that's not that's to, that's to get you back to the house like a spare tire on a car get you back now I got myself a DeBros or Dubro or however you want to say it, prop balancer. Got my prop. It doesn't matter which way you put it on. You put you put both of these squeezing, they look like arrows. They point in towards the prop. Spring nut and then the holding piece of tubing that keeps the pressure on the prop as it sits in there. Now that's nice and secure. Now, I'm going to show you how I can. I already know this prop is out of balance. I already put it on here. You put it on the prop, you put it on your balancer, like that, and then you just get it nice and level and let go of it. Now, if that prop was perfectly balanced, it would have stayed in the position I let go. Okay? All right? So I'm going to do it like this. If this prop was perfectly balanced, okay, hold it right there. If I move my finger, if it was perfectly balanced, it would stay there. But it's not. This is telling me that this lower swinging blade, see, brand new prop, like from FMS, that this lower swinging part blade is heavier. All right, now, there's many different ways, like I say, you can put some tape on the, the lighter prop and keep putting a little bit of tape, a little bit of tape and get it. And you want to get it to where that prop will stay just like that when you let go of it. Okay. But no, this isn't balanced. Okay. It swung back around. That's just the pendulum action. But eventually, you know, it's getting less and less up here. And eventually this lower prop, this lower one, okay, I'll, I'll even put it off here to just to an angle and you'll see that if this, this uh, blade up here was heavier, it would go to the bottom. But this one down here is the heavier blade. So we have to remove material, okay? 
best way to do that is number one, the, the lead, the, the uh, edge of the prop, you should always sand them a little bit anyways. And uh, I, I like to use the sanding blocks just because they're not as sharp, they don't cut your fingers. Um, let me make sure I got the right side here. Okay, now the heavier one's up. Okay, and look, it's automatically swinging down. So I know that this one is the, and all I'm gonna do, and this is gonna take us some time, so I'll, I'm gonna sit and do this until it balances, but meanwhile in the film, I'll, I will fast forward through this. And uh, you just wanna keep sanding it. You don't wanna sand the whole way through, of course. But you're just wanting to remove a little bit of material. If you want to do like maybe 50 uh, passes or 50 back and forth or however way you want to keep, and then wipe it off and then put it on their level and then see where you're at. Now, it's important that you don't have a fan going or anything like that because the, the air transfer could affect your, uh, could blow the problem. You can't get a good reading. Okay, so we're still very much out of balance. So I know I'm going to do a lot of sanding to get this to get this uh, to, to remove enough material off of this prop um, to to where I know it's happy, to where I know it's balanced. And however way you can do it, I like to like on the first inch or half. First inch, inch or so of the edge of that prop, and uh, like I say, I'll be fast forwarding through me sitting here sanding away because it's monotonous. You don't need to just watch me keep doing that. All right, we'll try it. Okay, let's get it right here. See what it does. Still heavier. Okay, let's... Keep at it. Like I said, this might this sometimes does take a long time. There you go. All right, let's test this. Turn around the other way. There you go. Hey, that prop is balanced. See if I do it this way. There. Slightly but not really. Maybe just a touch more. Just an ever so little bit more.
Voila. Voila. See, look at that. Look at that. Both. Both. <laughs> Both of them. That. I, that's fine. That's good. The fact that I can, it stays there and not one side is really heavier than the other, we have a balance prop now. Maybe I could do just a tad bit more because I'm anal retentive to make it absolutely perfect. Hey, perfect. Well, there you go, folks. That's how you balance prop. Took me 10 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe all together, if that, maybe, maybe more like eight minutes, but simple little thing, nice sanding blocks. Do it on the opposite side so you don't have, you got, you know, decals and paints on or stuff. But hey, kind of dusty. But uh, folks, that's why. And, and five minutes or six minutes of work versus busting your motor, that noise, that rattle, you know, why do it? I mean, it's like having the timing off of your engine of your car. You get that vibration, your timing's off, you're going to have problems. You're going to break your motor. And we all work hard for our money. So, you know, take a little time. This little DeBros uh, kit, I'll try to get you a link for that online in the in this video um, but take the time to balance your props you can see you saw that the prop was not balanced and now it is so hey what they say about an ounce of prevention well there you go i hope this helped you out i hope it's explained uh the reason for uh prop balancing and how simple it is to do it all you need is your course your prop a balancer and a couple of good sanding blocks Thank you for watching. This is Fat Guy Flies RC. God bless y'all. And those of you who have a multitude of pe people, and when you, I was talking about some of the health issues I was having, just a multitude, multitude of people reaching out and giving me uh, prayers and well wishes. It really meant a lot, and I really do appreciate it, and I am getting better. I am trying to turn, instead of Fat Guy Flies RC, to try to become Fit Guy Flies RC. <laughs> I won't change the name of the site because, you know, but um, got to get rid of some of this gut so I can live longer and fly these planes and be with my family. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. And God bless.